New at 10 o'clock tonight, body camera footage showing the moment when a Harris County Sheriff's deputy shot and killed a 45-year-old man. It's now been released. We do have to warn you, the video may be disturbing for some viewers. Marcelo Garcia was killed last Wednesday while reportedly suffering a mental health crisis. Garcia was seen with a knife moving towards a deputy, causing the deputy to move back and to try using his taser. The deputy then shot Garcia after he continued charging forward. All that happened along Sunflower Prairie Court in East Harris County. That deputy involved has been placed on temporary administrative leave. Garcia's family filed a wrongful death lawsuit just last week. Developing tonight, a federal investigator is providing new insight into the probe of a deadly Tesla crash that killed two men near the Woodlands this weekend. Detectives say nobody was behind the wheel when the car crashed and then burst into flames. KPRC 2's Courtney Zabowski has a brand new look at their search for clues and answers. Dr. William Varner spent his life caring for others. The Woodlands anesthesiologist died Saturday when the Tesla he was in crashed into a tree and burned. The National Transportation Safety Board doesn't typically send two investigators to a single car accident, but because no one was in the driver's seat of the car and because of the post-fire crash, they're here. We're looking at two specific areas within the uh, crash, uh, the circumstances surrounding the post-crash fire, and uh, the circumstances about the operation of the vehicle was uh, the advanced driver assistance system engaged? Was it not? What was the driver doing at the time? Monday, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted that recovered logs show the car's autopilot was never enabled. And that's part of the investigation. How did Dr. Varner, who worked here at Memorial Hermann Woodlands, die in an accident with no one behind the wheel? Also part of the investigation, the ion lithium battery. You have to use uh, a large amount of water to slow this down. Woodlands Fire Chief Palmer Buck said the fire took about three minutes to put out, but they had to continue to put water on the car for hours, 30,000 gallons of water. It's certainly a new challenge for the fire service to deal with um, lithium ion batteries uh, and, and electric cars, but we've been studying that and working on that for five years. The National Highway Safety Administration is also investigating the crash. In the Woodlands, Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News.